Hey, hey, it's Dana the Gypsy Psychic. Are y'all ready for another message? Come on in, get comfortable, put your feet up, get your blanket, get your pillow, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to, put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. If you're new to the channel, it's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story. Okay, now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey Taurus, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. What's going on you guys? How are you? How's it rolling? How's it shaking, Taurus? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay over here. It's hot though. It's hot. I'd rather have it hot than cold any day of the week though. Hot than cold for me, absolutely. Speaking of hot, burned the hell out of my hand on my curling iron the other day. So y'all are going to be witnessing that the whole reading. It's a very unattractive, but my hair sure did look good when I was done. All right, you guys. All right, let's do this. Give me a chance to channel. We'll see what's going on. Ready? All right. <clears throat> Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective with me, Spirit, and they want to know what you know. What do you know and what do they need to know? Whomever it is that I'm speaking to, what do they need to know? Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to know? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good spirit. What is the path? What is the purpose? What is in this particular Taurus's best interest? Please tell me where the stopping point is. Ten of Cups. Please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight right there from the top. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Ready? Ready? Can y'all see that? Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck, the Five of Pentacles in reverse. The world in reverse. The Ace of Wands. The Eight of Wands. The Nine of Wands. The Four of Cups. The Ten of Cups. And the Ace of Pentacles. All right, all of this is on the bottom of the deck and this is all going to make a whole lot of sense to us in just a little bit. It's actually going to make hella sense to everybody, okay? All right, first card out, Six of Cups in reverse. That's the tone for everything. Stuck in the past, unable to reconcile the past to the Two of Wands, the future. Nice. So we have the past and the future. Isn't that interesting? The past, the future. Past, the future. The three of swords. Some kind of mental anguish to the two of pentacles, uh, balancing this out. Princess of wands in reverse, perhaps not interested. The devil to the sun. Look at all of these contradictions that we have, right? We have the past, the future. We have grief and then we have balance. We have um, obviously something toxic with the devil and then we have the path to purpose with the sun. The magician in the center of the reading. Wow, manifestation, lesson numero uno of all of it. The most importante to comprehende. <laughs> No, I don't speak Spanish. And in those of y'all out there who do speak Spanish, you're like, no, you don't speak Spanish. No, I don't. I'm just screwing around. Okay. To the Four of Pentacles, some kind of stability, some kind of, of, of stability. Strength in reverse, a weakness. Again, contradictions. The Prince of Wands in reverse, a lack of action or frustration. The Prince of Pentacles, same old, same old. The Prince of Swords and Judgment in Reverse, Self-Doubt, Bad Decisions, the Five of Wands in Reverse, the Two of Swords in Reverse, the Seven of Pentacles, the Princess of Swords in Reverse, the Ace of Swords in Reverse, the Nine of Cups in Reverse, the Two of Cups in Reverse, and the Hermit. 
All right, you guys, let's make some sense of this. Uh, a couple of things you need to know before we get started. I'm going to confuse the hell out of you. So just bear with me. I'm going to go to the end and I'm going to go back up to the top and I'll read it to you as a full story. Okay. We're going to fast forward in between because it's just exhausting. Okay. And um, I have a propensity to be inappropriate. I uh, most likely will swear and I'll probably smoke my vape on camera. So if any of that bothers you in any way whatsoever, the neighbor Neighborhood is too rough and you just need to go on okay all right uh, snarky comments in the comment section I will just simply block you from the channel I, I will just cut you right off at the knees and we'll be done with it okay all right so the six of cups in reverse the past two of wands the three of swords the two of Pentacles and the princess of wands in reverse so this is all internal to the Taurus right here and I want to know what this death card is right here. A devil. I'm sorry. I want to know what the devil is. Spirit, what is the devil about? The sun in reverse to the sun in the upright. Not seeing very clearly. The queen of wands in reverse. And the four of cups. Okay. Okay. So contemplation, reevaluation. Not seeing something clearly. The queen of wands in reverse. We're going to come back to that in a second. The four of cups, there's some information that you need to know because this is all an attachment. That's a restriction to your growth. I see. And then the sun. I want to know about the sun and the magician. I mean, three super powerful cards in a row right here. So tell me about the sun. Remember, I'm going to go back and read it to you. Tell me about the sun. The path to happiness, success, and vitality. Strength strength to overcome the devil. What is um, the strength that Taurus needs? The path to happiness, success, and vitality. Overcoming, gaining courage. Tell me one more about the sun and strength, please. Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Hell to the yeah, yeah. The magician in the center of the reading manifestation, big manifestation to the king of swords, the king of swords and the five of swords in reverse. Fantastic. All right, Taurus, this is what's happening. Okay. This is what's happening. All right. So we have the six of cups in reverse to the two of wands. Okay. So stuck in the past, the future. Okay. Stuck in the past, the future, the three of swords, um, grief of some sort in the mind to the two of pentacles, because you can't seem to balance your life out somehow, some way. Okay. Financially, intellectually, whatever the pentacles is about your sense of well being. Okay. So you are, um, um, having some grief, about trying to balance something out in your life. Princess of Wands in reverse, and you don't know what to do about it. Um, you have a lack of ambition, and you just, you're stuck on the way things used, used to be, okay? To the Knight of Wands. Um, things used to be, you used to have some kind of inspiration. You used to be excited about something. Um, maybe life in general. All right, let's just cap it off at that. All right, life in general used to be really good and you're struggling with how to get it together. You're struggling with how to get it together. Okay. Uh, six of swords in reverse to the three of swords, right? Stuck in some kind of, of mental baggage. Okay. To the magician in reverse. Um, this mental baggage that you're stuck in makes it impossible for you to manifest properly. What's the mental baggage that you're stuck in? Whatever it was for you in the past where things used to be good, but now they're not good and you're lost and you're having a hard time balancing things out. Okay. All right. Mental. That's the mental baggage of whatever it was that you are fixated on that used to be good, but isn't anymore. Okay. That is prohibiting your manifestation. Okay. It's prohibiting your manifestation. All right. And I hate to do a total buzzkill here, um, but this is basically what I'm about to say is basically the gist of the whole reading. And then we have all of the details that come after it. Okay. So, Bottom line, stuck in the past, 
thinking about the future, all kinds of grief in your head, trying to balance stuff out, can't balance stuff out, lacking ambition, lacking desire or focus, okay? All right, the, the mental baggage of what you're stuck on back here in the past is prohibiting proper manifestation of what it is that you want to create in your life. The Knight of Swords, two things. Um, because you change your mindset, as we go further down in this reading, because you change your mindset and point your free will towards a deeper understanding of things, because of some kind of communication, it's all going to make sense in a second, because of some kind of communication, the Wheel of Fortune, there is a massive turning point in your life and a, a, a leg of your path is revealed to you. The moon in reverse, because you come to terms with some kind of really, really deep struggle, death. And there, because of you coming to terms with this really, really deep struggle, there is a massive transformation in your life. Temperance, pulling it together, overflowing instead of leaking in your life. To the Page of Cups, um, there is an opportunity that is going to surface in the rest of this reading, okay? to the Ten of Swords to cure some kind of mental pain, okay? All right, so. Let's go down here to the bottom. What's the problem? Well, Taurus all trapped in their head, okay? Remember, the Magician is lesson number one of everything, and it's in the center of this reading. Lesson number one of Everything is what you think about comes about. Your mind is extremely, extremely powerful. And the thoughts that ruminate in your subconscious mind create your reality. The reality that you're creating for yourself up here is despair, okay? Because you're lamenting about the way something used to be, okay? Your mind creates your reality. The reality that you're creating is that, okay? The reality and the reality that you should be creating for yourself is something else, okay? What's the problem? It's the devil, okay? The devil is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth, okay? What's your issue? Whoever it is I'm talking to, this is a general reading. If this was your reading, we could put all of these pieces together and make a lot of sense out of it, okay? So, the attachment that's the restriction to your growth is a lack of teamwork and collaboration because it's all talk, no action, okay? All talk, no action. What is that? Well, whomever I'm speaking to has a spiritual understanding. Okay, they're, they're book smart in spirituality, all right? Maybe y'all have been studying growing, changing, healing things in the past, okay? But this all talk, no action, undelivered promises card tells me that you're just thinking about it. You're just thinking about it over and over. That's why you're all up in your head up here, right? You're just thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, and you're not actually applying it to your life. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're not applying it to your life. Why aren't you applying it to your life? Because you're so distracted with the way that it used to be that you are not applying what it is that you, you're not going in the direction that you're growing. You are choosing to stay stagnant and fixating on something in the past. And because of that, there is a lack of teamwork and collaboration between you and Source. Because you are choosing Sun in reverse. You're not seeing clearly. You are choosing the Queen of Wands in reverse. Your human nature, your human path. Trying to make sense of stuff in your own humanness, in your own limited human understanding. 
what are you trying to make sense of in your limited human understanding? Well, it used to be good, but it's not anymore. And I don't know how to make it like that again. And you're fixating on what it was maybe that you've lost or mistakes that you have made or um, uh, the past all the way around, okay? That's the human understanding. What you're not seeing clearly, the sun in reverse, not seeing clearly, what you're not seeing clearly is that the path that you are being asked to go has absolutely nothing to do with the past. But your ego, for some reason, wants the past to the Four of Cups. Contemplation, reevaluation, some information being given to you that's going to bring some kind of stability to your emotional processes. What's that information? Well, it's what we're talking about right here. The Seven of Swords in reverse. What's the information? Break free from a futile mentality. What's the futile mentality? Trying to focus on the past instead of focusing on the future. Betraying yourself. Betraying your future by focusing on the past. To the Nine of Wands. Be resilient. Be persistent. Be resilient. Be persistent. Have some spiritual strength. Fight the good fight to the Two of Pentacles and balance and prioritize the world, bringing this entire cycle to a complete and total closure and begin to focus on your future instead of focusing on your past. The Page of Pentacles, this tills up the ground for you to create new manifestation in your life to the Queen of Wands in the upright and standing in your power, in your firepower, in your drive, in your ambition, um, in the upright. Mm -hmm. Turning from the ego desires to the spiritual desires. That is what these cards are asking you to do. They're asking you to turn from your simplistic human understanding of why things are the way that they are and look towards a bigger, better, stronger spiritual understanding of why things the way that, that of why things are the way that they are. Mm hmm Yep. Yep, yep, yep. To the sun. There's bigger and better. There's so much bigger and better than what it is that you had in the past. Whatever it is that you're missing, um, there's bigger and better. The path to happiness, success, and vitality in your life comes from strength. What strength? It's having the courage to overcome. What are you overcoming? The flesh versus the soul battle. See, the flesh wants to keep you. The flesh is represented by the devil, by the way. It's, it's an attachment that's a restriction to your growth. And what is that? It's the fleshly things that we pursue in this lifetime that have absolutely zero value to much of anything besides your human desires. Okay? Right? And what's the desire here? For things to be the way that they used to be. But things are going to be better now. So have the courage to overcome this mentality that's blocking everything. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Loss. Um, financial loss. Loss of well-being. Loss all the way around. Loss to the Three of Cups, but it's about to be restored. It's waiting to be restored. The Three of Cups corresponds with this Knight of Swords up here, which corresponds with the whole rest of this. You are going to get some kind of communication that is an opportunity to do something spectacular for your future. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what's going on. But you're not manifesting properly because you are fixated on low vibrational flesh energy of, I wish it was like it used to be. It was so much easier when it was like that. The alchemist in the center of the reading. Manifestation. Where your mind goes, your reality becomes. Point your mind towards this 
spiritual journey that whoever this is for has chosen to embark upon. Always manifest according to your intuition. It is the first two lessons of everything. The magician is lesson one. Where your mind goes, your reality becomes. Lesson two is your intuition. It's always your soul speaking to your consciousness, trying to lead you in the direction of your best and highest good. And what do we do? We just ignore it all over the place. We're all about satiating our wants and our needs and our desires. When in fact, there is something way, 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 way bigger than that at play here. You have the power to manifest any kind of reality that you want to with this magician, King of Swords. So get your mind in the game, get it straight. Always see what it is that you're manifesting. Check your intuition and manifest according to it. Point your mind in the direction of your intuition and you will become the empress, which is lesson three. Absolutely the seedbed of all creation. Mm -hmm. Yep. Then you'll be lesson four, which is the emperor, about how to actually create it in your life. Okay? All right. All right. The Five of Swords in Reverse. It is time to let go of some kind of white knuckle grip on some kind of thought pattern that you have, which is everything that we just talked about in the top row. The Four of Pentacles. What is this thought pattern? Well, it's a lack mentality. It's uh, It used to be better over there. I wish I was still over there. I wish I still had the old job that I had, even if I absolutely hated it because I'm I'm, I'm broke right now. Or I wish I had the relationship that I used to have because there was a lot more security and life was just better and easier over there. Or I wish I would have not made the decision that I made and now I regret it and I wish I was over there. And this is all blockages, blockages to everything. It's a backward cycle over and over and over again. And it's time for you to move forward at this particular phase of your life. It's a blockage. What's a blockage? The Eight of Swords. Your mental. Your mental is blocking you. Your mental is cock blocking you, Taurus, to strength in reverse. And it's a weakness. It's a weakness. It's what you had to overcome and strength over here. The path to happiness, success, and vitality is overcoming this weakness. What's the weakness? Your mindset. What's it doing? It's blocking everything to the eight of cups. And you're aimlessly drifting. You're not focused on what it is that you should be focused on. To the Prince of Wands in reverse. Prince of Wands in reverse is, is a lack of ambition, a lack of, of drive, a lack of initiative. And that's all because of that up here, right? You're not taking that energy that you're expending mourning over the past. You're not taking that and putting it into your future. Okay, so there's a lack of everything here with the Prince of Wands in reverse to the Ten of Wands in reverse. Um Avoiding responsibility, and perhaps that has a lot to do with, with you not wanting to initiate something new in your life. Ten of Wands in Reverse is sometimes about an overwhelming burden. Um, Ten of Wands in Reverse is sometimes about unloading an overwhelming burden. And then we have the Two of Cups. You're about to get some kind of a message and some kind of an offer that... Um, is that is your future to the ace of swords but you got to get your mind in the game so you can see it clearly you have to get your mind in the game so you can see it clearly the six of pentacles it's going to be an opportunity to give receive and share in the prosperity of life okay to the prince of pentacles Prince Pentacles is long, steady, stable. The devil in reverse is about releasing limiting beliefs, detaching yourself from a belief system that you have been in for a long time. To the hangman, take a step back, get a new perspective, and cut yourself loose from the tree. What's the tree? Well, it's keeping you this whole energy of this whole reading is just this Taurus being just 
stagnant, just stagnant, and looking back and going, damn, shit was easier back then. Stuff was so much easier back then. Why did I do what I do? Or why did it have to end? Or why this and why that? And lamenting about the past. Cut yourself loose from the tree with a new perspective. Prince of Swords, because there's some communication coming to you that you need to be ready for. You need to be in the right mind space for it, Taurus. To the Four of Swords in reverse, because you ain't in the right mind space right now. This is, this is mentally restless, a lack of success, a lack of reward, mentally restless about a lack of success, okay? To the Three of Swords, and it's grief. It's grief in your mind, all over the place, grief in your mind. Judgment in reverse, and this grief in your mind is creating a lot of self-doubt for you. This card also tells me that perhaps what you're lamenting over um, is some kind of a bad decision from your past some kind of bad decision that you wish that you wouldn't have made, maybe. But there's a lot of self-doubt to the Six of Wands. But there is victory, progress, and success. This is a card about overcoming a battle. Overcoming it. And if you will change the way that you're thinking about things, stop looking into the past and begin looking into the future, Point your soul in the direction of the path of your best and highest good. Let it call the shots for you. It's going to lead you to right where it is that you need to be. This cycle is so over. It's old and it's over. It's worn out and it's tired. Let it go and step into something new. Justice. How do you do that? What's in your best interest? Well, to be accountable for your journey. To be accountable for your journey. Up here, you're, there's no accountability up here. Be accountable for your journey. Five of Wands in reverse. And get an increased focus on your goals. Stop avoiding responsibility and get an increased and have an increased focus on your goals. Knight of Cups to the Six of Cups. Knight of Cups to the Six of Cups. Knight of Cups is a message. Um, it's an emotional investment. Six of Cups talks about family, home, nostalgia, memories. The Hanged Man talks about waiting, pausing, waiting, pausing, new perspectives, Five of Cups, loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. Tell me one more for all of this, please. Please tie this all together for me right here to the chariot. Yep, 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 yep. Anything else? Anything else? Can you give me the root of this Six of Cups right here? Is this a success? Fantastic. 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 Okay. What's this is saying? What's this is saying? The Knight of Cups. Okay. And I know in traditional old everyday tarot cards, I, I read them differently. Okay. As, as you can tell, I'm sure by now, I read them differently. Okay. So this isn't like superficial kind of stuff. The Knight of Cups is about you casting the net and pulling in all of your fragmented emotions about whatever this thing from the past is that you're lamenting about, okay? All right, throwing out the net, bringing them all in, bringing it all heart center, coming to terms with things, and preparing yourself to step forward into a new way of being, okay? Six of Cups. This is about coming to terms with the past, why? Six of Wands. Because it's overcoming the battle. What's the battle? Don't look back at the past with regret. Look back at the past as a learning experience. Okay? Look back at the past as some kind of soul level learning experience. Okay? Don't regret it. Don't mourn for it. Don't lament after it. Come to terms with it. Victory, progress, and success. Over what? Over the battle. What's the battle? Coming to terms with the past and pushing forward in your life. The hangman. Again, you've been here for too long. It's time for a new perspective. The five of cups. The loss, the regret, the despair, the disappointment that you have from whatever this is for you to the chariot. It's time to roll on. It's time to move on. It's time to go. It's just time to leave this. The cycle is over. Let's go. 
two of swords in reverse because you're at a crossroads that you're really not recognizing okay you're you're really not recognizing the crossroads that you truly are standing at seven of pentacles says it's time to reflect and assess on what it is you've been growing in your life how it is you've been doing things princess of swords in reverse because it's not working for you ace of swords in reverse because your mind is so distracted with what you think your human journey should have been and you're not paying attention to the journey of your path and your purpose and your soul because the only reason any of us are here ever to begin with is for our soul growth pay attention to your soul growth and don't give a shit about your human journey okay nine of cups in reverse um emotionally deficient to the two of cups in reverse mourning over some kind of situation that is no longer and then the hermit again comes on not again the hermit comes on top of that and talks about some deep soul searching and some deep 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 introspection okay what does that do what do you come out of this this sit down with your higher power Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is about recovering, recovering from financial loss, recovering from um, insecurities. It's about it's about recovering from some kind of change that was damaging. The world in reverse, and this has been your blockage. Ace of Wands, inspired, passionate, brand new, exciting, on fire opportunities eight of wands it's going to move and change your life is going to change so quickly the second you refocus your mind onto the journey ahead of you instead of the journey behind you everything changes everything changes you get some kind of phone call some kind of opportunity that changes everything it's a turning point in your destiny and there is at least one other person involved and it is some kind of offer that is going to be the next phase of your journey okay movement action and change nine of wands resilience persistence keep fighting the good fight keep being resilient and persistent to, to follow your intuition to manifest according to your intuition it'll never steer you wrong to the Four of Cups. Contemplate and reevaluate, truly contemplate and reevaluate the Ten of Cups. What your meaning of happiness and peace and fulfillment is in your life, Ace of Pentacles, because you will have an opportunity to create that and manifest that in your future. You literally have the power to create any kind of reality that you want for yourself. You can't gr like grow a new arm or something, right? But all up in here, you have the potential to create the reality that you want to live. And the reality that you're creating now is just mind fuck reality. The reality that you're being directed to go to is the path and purpose of the next phase of your soul journey. And it involves one or more people. Okay. I hope that helps someone. Namaste.